A normal pencil can draw a line around 35 miles long. That's the same as from one side of London to the other. But this pencil can draw all the way to China. That's the same as about 159 pencils. This pencil claims to last forever and never need sharpening. How amazing would it be to never have to deal with your pencil snapping or have to sharpen it every five seconds? And it's only $5? That just sounds way too good to be true. I want to put this pencil to the test to see if it's just another gimmick that you shouldn't waste your money on or whether it's actually a game changer. So on Amazon, there's like a ton of these different pencils and they're called Everlasting Pencils and they basically just have this like little nib that you screw in and it's like made of metal. I don't really think it's graphite that you're putting on the paper. It's like a bit of the metal is coming off every time you do a marking on the paper, which is kind of weird, but kind of cool as well. And they come with some like spare nibs as well which kind of confused me because if it's meant to be this everlasting pencil, why do you really need to replace the nibs? So that's a bit of a red flag, right? The first test is just to see if this thing works. Oh, wow. Okay, it shows up. That's a good start. Oh, I thought it would be a lot lighter than that. Oh, that's really cool. This is definitely looking dark enough for sketching, which is really good because I think this is going to be what the main use of this pencil would be, is for doing your sketches. But it looks exactly the same. Nothing's changing with the end of the pencil. I mean, I barely used it, but it's still a good first sign. Okay, now I want to see how dark it will go. So I'm going to apply a bit more pressure. I'm genuinely really surprised at how dark that has got. It did say that it was going to be like a HB pencil, but I kind of didn't believe it. But no, I'm really happy with that. It has passed the first test. The next thing that this needs to do to be a functional pencil that we can actually draw with is it needs to be able to erase. So let's see if it can do it. You can see it's erasing absolutely fine. What about this darker shading? That would be the ultimate test. Not bad at all. I think that's pretty good. I mean, it hasn't got rid of every single bit of shading, but it was pretty dark. It's quite a large like surface of lead to be able to shade with. So it actually shades quite quickly. And it's nice to know that it's not going to wear down. And you don't need to keep sharpening it. Well, it says it's not gonna wear down. That's something that we're gonna have to test. It's great that this pencil works, but that's kind of the bare minimum. What we really will be using it for is sketching and drawing. So let's see how it handles doing a whole entire sketch. I decided to sketch out a portrait. And the first thing I noticed was how nice the pencil felt in my hands. I was a little bit concerned because it's quite heavy. I thought it might be a bit weird to draw with, but I was completely wrong. It actually felt really nice. And it was like the perfect sort of darkness for sketching. It showed up but it was still quite light which is perfect for sketches because you don't want your lines to be too dark. I made a lot of mistakes, proportions, features, hard to get them right first time so I definitely got a chance to put the eraser to the test and every time I used it it erased the lines completely and it didn't leave any of the pencil behind and it was just so convenient to not have to sharpen it, to not have to deal with your pencils breaking or anything like that. You could just stay in the flow and get into the groove without having to stop and start. And that's kind of nice because sometimes when we're sketching, we're in the zone. We don't want to have to stop to sharpen the pencil and then try and get back into the flow again. Here you can see how the sketch turned out. I love the pencil. It gets a big tick from me for sketching. But could we do a whole entire drawing with it? Let's see how it handles shading. As soon as I started shading with this pencil, I really noticed how light it is. It's not going to be good for getting in those darker values. So I decided to switch it up for this drawing and I actually used hatching to do my shading with. And I thought this could be a good technique to try and get the pencil to go a little bit darker. I thought layering all of the different sets of lines over the top of each other might help to get that darker shading. And it kind of worked. You can see that I'm adding a lot of shading for the face and for the nose but it just doesn't get that dark it doesn't have that sort of oomph that you need to make a drawing pop we need to get in those darker values those darker shadows for a drawing to have depth and this pencil 
it just isn't cutting it. So even though it gets a big tick for sketching, it definitely gets a eh -eh for shading. But even if we're just using this pencil for sketching, it still has to be able to work with other drawing supplies. Because if this doesn't work well with other supplies, then there's no point in using it. If you are interested to know what supplies I use for my drawings, because I use the exact same supplies for every drawing I do, I will leave a link to my supply list in the description below so that you can check it out, see the exact tools I use, what I use them for, and it has links to where you can get them yourself if you want to. But let's finish off this drawing. that after doing this drawing with all my normal supplies everything was fine it works well with the other pencil it layered over the top of the pencil really well I didn't have any problems all of my supplies worked how they normally would okay we know the pencil works we know we can sketch with it but the most important thing that makes this pencil unique is that it claims to last forever right so we need to put that to the test I'm gonna give myself one hour and just scribble away, really push this pencil and just see what happens. See what it looks like at the end. But I've got my water, I've got my audiobook. I'm gonna to listen to some Lord of the Rings and I'm just gonna set a timer. Oh my God, I'm only like three minutes in and my arm is absolutely killing me. I don't know if I can do this for another 56 minutes. Okay, I've been doing this for 12 minutes now. And there's no way my graphite pencil would have lasted without being sharpened. Okay, that's it. You can see I have really put this pencil to the test. I have been scribbling like mad for an hour. But what has all this scribbling actually done to the pencil? Here you can see a new version of the pencil. This is what it looked like when we started out. So how different does the pencil that we've been using look? Look at this. I'm sure I don't need to say that there's obviously a very big difference between these two pencils. This one's nice and sharp. This one is barely there, barely still existing. I mean, I'm still very surprised that it's able to get all of these small details. But what this test has showed us is that this pencil won't last forever. But does that mean that it's useless and not worth getting? Even though this pencil clearly isn't going to last forever, I still actually think it's worth getting one and trying it out for yourself. I really put this pencil to the test. I was pushing hard on it. I did a load of scribbles. I mean, I did 25 pages. And since we've kind of established that this is going to be mainly good for sketching, I think you could do a ton of sketches before this ever started to wear down. It was so nice not having to worry about sharpening my pencil and dealing with any of that sort of messiness. And when you get the pencil, it normally comes with a pack of like those little nibs. So it really will last you a long time, especially if you are just using it for sketching. Make sure to let me know in the comments whether you've heard of this before and whether you actually wanna give it a try yourself. But having the right tools for drawing is just one part of the equation. So check out this video next where I go through 10 drawing tips that you'll wish you knew sooner to help you create even more realistic drawings.